Hi, thanks for coming to see Glenn's memorial video. This video is in three parts. There's 15 minutes of everyone gathering at Crownsville Veterans Cemetery the day that Glenn's ashes were interred there and joining in a service led by Reverend Don Llewellyn. There's about five minutes of everyone just sitting and chatting back at the house and then 40 minutes of everyone talking about Glenn's life and sharing stories about him. I bought this camera especially for the day, and I think the pictures came out very well, but the camera would shut off every 15 to 20 minutes to save the file to the card. So I'm sorry for the sudden breaks and gaps in it. I've tried to edit it together as smoothly as I can, and I've tried to adjust the volume so that you can hear what everyone is saying. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you were lucky enough to know Glenn, and that this brings some good memories back to you. Okay, so you can do that one. 
trust that God. Very God. Give Jesus his son. And even though human, the way in which Jesus was able to reveal the love of God and to not only promise us life everlasting, but through the resurrection and through the faith we have in God's power and God's constant love, that God has put his arms around the planet and the planet is not only safe, but enjoying a life that we can't imagine in a life of young death. trash collection, no sidewalks. My husband was killed in 1970. My tax property taxes in Anne Arundel County have just gotten to 
Oh my goodness. Boy, Jen. I bet the taxes up there now are probably 12000 on on that house, 14000 You get all those extra services, too. Yeah, because I, I mean, I asked the people next door, Wayne's Crash Collection, and he said, it, well, it all depends who you've contracted with. <laughs> <laughs> we are spoiled when you think about it. Yeah. Denise, yeah. Twice, Denise and Kelly twice a week. Pick up. Yeah, she does. Right? She does. Yeah. 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 I smelled all the neighbor dogs on <laughs> Tim, where do you live? Oh, I live in Tennessee right now. Oh, do you live? I'm a house sitting for a friend of mine in Baltimore. So I'm up, I've been up here for almost two weeks now. And on Saturday I'm going to head back south. So, we're back in Tennessee, but eastern part by eastern Knoxville, about 35 miles. You're from Pennsylvania? But I, I grew up in there. So, I know uh, Jeff from work and we used to have a... Uh, we would have potluck dinners at my house in Elkhart City. Just right outside. And so, uh, you know, Jeff and a lot of other coworkers and just people we know around here, we can come over and we'll have a dinner over there. So, kind of a, it was a fun, yeah, it was a fun time. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank God. Glenn came to it, what, two, two dinners? A couple of them. We went to a couple at, Simplex, Ray and college friends of mine. Jen was saying to Clara how she, uh, how she benefited so much from Glenn because she got to go to, to dinners and uh, the airport things and all those fun kind of things. And Mrs. Yee was across the street was talking about all the places that he took her. Oh, is that right? I know you don't. got them involved with the Pasadena Theater Company. Oh, oh yeah. Well, remember we used to go to the place down oh, there? Don't ask me to mean that. Sure. I shouldn't think of it. So we went, we went past it on the way today. That's right. Yeah, wow. But they don't have any more. Yeah. No, it's up here at uh, Chesapeake yeah. Park Center. But I love Baldwin Hall. Oh, I love you. She had the chance to play. We tried. Did you ever do that, Connie? We tried. Did you ever go down there? Oh, yeah. Get down the treasure. We used to sell it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's right. We had some candy. Well, that's where I met you. Oh, the theater. And you can see everybody? Well, Pasadena. Okay. I was wondering when you pan by it. Yeah, well, I think if you put the window on the side. Oh, it's recording now? It is. Okay. And I can't remember. Hello. I figured that was, hey, yeah. Yeah, 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 I figured yeah, but don't forget when it turns black, sooner than that. Show that does that mean anything? Or is it still recording? Also it? It's, uh, it turned black. It, it will look like this if it's recording. Okay, because if it turns it, black, hit the button again. Uh, okay, all right. It turned black uh, at like 15 or something. Some oh. Yeah. Okay. And so I had it. Yeah. I can tell. Just keep it going. Keep it silent. Okay. Um, oh yeah, you, you put it back. You put it back. Moving forward, sit down back here. Or? Um, well, the problem is I'm, I'm kind of going to be able to get kind of at the limit of its of the wide angle. Um, okay. But uh, you're, you're, you're the pro. And that was a very common. And we are recording. Ten years worth or something. We shared our lives. We shared together. Jack didn't want to go, so I took her. Actually, she was with me. I drove that place. But that was what, 6 o'clock in the morning? It was so ridiculous. I already decided to wake us all up. Bring his truck up and park it. He'll just use it in the back for storing his guard equipment. He won't drive it. But you got there, Jeff? I only drive it. Biography of Glenn. Oh, that's Biography, really? Oh my god. Want to read it to us? Yeah, I'm going to. I'll wait for his. Oh, guys, get it out. Wait for our cameraman. He really What's his name? Jerry. 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 One thing though, they both had their health, so when they had their 60th anniversary, we had a nice dinner party. So it was yeah, a lot of good pictures. Yeah.
if no one minds uh, being photographed so that we can send it down to her so that she can uh, get to meet all of you and hear a little bit about Glenn's uh, later years. Uh, I put together a little bio going through his uh, paperwork this week, an outline of his life, and I just wanted to invite everyone to share memories and stories. Uh, you have to keep it clean. <coughs> Things, as I say, I put together from, I have some documentation for some things. Other things, Glenn may have made up, so you, you know for sure. <laughs> we were a lot of you, you know for sure. You know. But uh, Glenn was born in uh, 1921 in Belfont, Pennsylvania, which is the county seat of Center County. It's right in the very center of Pennsylvania, uh, right next to State College, where Penn State is. And this is Pennsylvania Dutch country. He had a mother-in-law named Martha Zonizer. And he was always bragging that he was the only person he knew who had an Aunt Ole Winkleblit. <laughs> His uh, parents were Edward Peters and Blanche Treister. He had a brother, James, and sisters, Mary Catherine, who was known as KP, who uh, died just a few years ago, and Marguerite, who was known as Peg. And uh, Marguerite is still living down in, uh, in Myrtle Beach. Uh, his father worked for the railroad in Belfont. And he said that they, um, oh, yeah, they had a job all through the Depression. He was very, very fortunate that way. He said they uh, would often have furniture that was being moved on the railroad, which would get broken on the way. And so they would get that uh, free or very cheap. So they never had uh, two chairs that matched each other in the house. So I feel like we're, we're carrying on his legacy yeah. here today. Uh, so he grew up in Belfont, went to high school there, went down to Harrisburg for business college for one year, and then he enlisted in the Army in 1942. He trained with the 10th Mountain Division, the ski troops, at Camp Hale in Leadville, Colorado. And while he was there, he became sick, and he was moved down south to recuperate. Uh, while he was there, Elizabeth Ann Fisher came down from Center County. He'd known her growing up and they were married in Myrtle Beach in 1943. Also, while he was down there, he took an aptitude test, and the Army decided that the business skills he picked up in college would be put to better use as a clerk. So he went as a uh, clerk with Patton's Army to France. And he told me he uh, helped to debrief soldiers who were returning home to see if they had anything that, uh, or they knew anything that might be useful to Army intelligence. Uh, after the war, he was discharged from he was discharged as a uh, corporal from the 180th Field Artillery Battalion in 1946. And he and Anne moved down to New Orleans, where he studied business at Tulane University. And after school, he went to work as an export traffic manager for the Lights Brothers Steamship Company. So if you wanted to ship a bunch of tractors to Italy, you would call him up, and he would arrange for them to be met at the dock and all of the paperwork to be filed with the two governments and for them to be met at the other end and so on. So he was always on the phone all around the world. Uh, so they lived in uh, New Orleans for several years. He said they liked swimming on Christmas Day down there, but they didn't like all the bugs. <laughs> so they came back north. They uh, lived in Washington, D.C. for a time and then came on to Baltimore. In Baltimore, he went to work for Rams and oh, <laughs> didn't feel very heavy. In Baltimore, he went to work for Ramsey Scarlett and Company. He told me that he uh, he worked for Likes Brothers down there, so he knew about Ramsey Scarlett. And he went in to interview and see if they had any positions available. And they said no. And he came back the next day, and he kept telling them, you know, you're the best company, and I'm not going to work for anybody else. And he just kept coming until they got tired of him. <laughs> so, Persistence. <laughs> They, uh, 
they adopted their son, uh, Todd Peters. He was born in 1955. I think he was about a year old when they adopted him, so about 1956. He was added to the family. Uh, they moved to a couple of places around Glen Burnie, and then they bought this house for $15,000. And they moved in on April Fool's Day, 1965. <laughs> <laughs> he retired from Ramsey Scarlett in 1984. There are some uh, very politically incorrect uh, retirement party photos over there <laughs> that you can enjoy. Uh, in her later years, Anne became ill with rheumatoid arthritis, and Glenn cared for her for several years up until her death in 1991. Todd, uh, if I remember correctly, went into the Merchant Marines for a time, and then became a truck driver, and he did long distance trucking back and forth across the country. He took Glenn on a trip one time. Hmm. Uh, he moved up to Aberdeen and died of Burkitt's lymphoma in 2000. After his retirement, Glenn kept very busy. He did uh, a lot of traveling. He went on elder hostels around the country, including trips to California and Arizona. And he took trips to Spain, Morocco, Turkey, and England. Went to a, a lot of places that he talked to on the phone when he was working. Went and saw the ports, and uh, he said he always wanted to have a cup of coffee on the Bosphorus. <laughs> so there's a, a photo of him having a cup of coffee. <laughs> He uh, acted on the stage with the Pasadena Theater Company, and he volunteered with the BWI Airport Information Desk, the observation deck of the Baltimore World Trade Center, uh, the Walters Art Gallery and Center Stage, and uh, kept very active until he started to fall ill the last few years. So um, if anyone, uh, I, have, I have silly stories to tell. But if anyone has uh, any thoughts or corrections or uh, memories of Glenn's stories that you'd like to share. Well, let it be known that it is not true that he met me through an ad in a city paper. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that did not happen because... Are you sure? I am, I am really sure because I, I don't know about him, but I never put a personal ad uh, in there. So, um, But that's the way I was introduced for many years. <laughs> You met him to the Pasadena Theater? I met him through the Pasadena, Pasadena Theater Company. Mm -hmm. And the, the, I guess the thing that was fantastic through all the years is so many men, when um, they have, they're alone and, or they've retired, they do nothing. And um, Glenn was amazing because he was always doing something, going somewhere, and so I found that he was very, very unique, very unique that way. And um, there were some times when he met and would go places with me and my grandchildren. And you know, I, I was with, I had Jessica once and forgot to feed her. Um, Glenn never let me forget that about I gave her back to her parents and not having fed her, knocked over her stroller, she ended up and, and then Madeline would go swimming at the pool when he belonged to the hotel swimming pool and out here on the steps she had just learned to go up and down and I made, I guess maybe 500 times, up and down, up and down. So, you know, we enjoyed a lot of that. And he just never knew what was going to come out of his mouth. Yeah. We were in a Sunday school class together, and Glenn had no capability at all of ever keeping on the subject. And whatever that we were talking about, something would come to his mind totally unrelated to anything anybody was talking about. You could count on Glenn coming up with something more. <laughs> Yeah. That was both Sunday school classes, too, because oh, yeah. it was Your the same friend. way in our classes. Yeah. <laughs>
he, he would start to get bored with whatever you were talking yeah, about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He would decide everybody must be bored, so I'll change it. He always thought he had something more interesting yeah. to say. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about so and so? I remember coming over here with uh, with the Townsends and the Sims, and, and we did a little bit of. Uh, uh, Painting. That's uh, right, Connie and JT. Yes, yes. We were called the Kindred Spirits. <laughs> and uh, we we uh, started out and painted painted some of these rooms and got to we would come back and bring lunch or dinner yeah. and have have little picnics and play pitch and putt out in the backyard and golf. So he still has his pitch and putt back there. So, the church oh, yeah. found it's out we were called kindred spirits, remember? Mm -hmm. And they didn't care for that at all, that we had isolated ourselves, so they thought we, we had to drop the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we continued with the friendships. I was telling that coming over here, you know, we still... You were, you were telling me that you, that all started with Ann? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I met Ann. We had seen them in church, but didn't know them really. And uh, she was in a wheelchair then, and... Don, I think, asked for someone to come and sit with Ann so Glenn could take his Spanish class. Mm -hmm. So I started coming up once a week or however often. And uh, we Mr. met Robert, the, the yeah. lipstick yeah. and everything yeah. and we would come. And I remember one time we came, he fixed us pickles. Do you all remember pickles, that? He, yeah. he made yeah, pickles. pickles. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure remember that one. Mm -hmm. Christmas, I know we'd come over here uh -huh. for Christmas time. Ann was remarkable too, and that she had never ever heard her complain no, about yeah, anything. Never, never, never ever. She never. knew she was in pain. You could just tell by the performances. Never once complained. Yeah. Well, you all told me I did too much for Christmas. It would help me get my stuff out. You have enough. That's enough. We don't have to get any more out of it yet. We don't have. We, we don't have to do that. And I think I don't know how long or when he didn't have a Christmas tree. And I made him some sort of little Christmas tree so that there would be a Christmas tree in the house. But you have too much, you don't really want. <laughs> <laughs> That's her two cents. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody invaded my house. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, wow, what a place to jump. You have any stories in recent years? Uh, recent years. Let me see. Uh, that's, uh, some of the things that he used to tell people when he was volunteering. Oh, we oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that got him in trouble. Oh, I have a, a good one, a couple of good ones from church that he's, he's told me. Um, uh, we can guess a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can add some to this. Please, so. There's a, for those of you who are not part of the church group, there's a couple there, uh, Craig and Nan Durling. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, we all know. <laughs> yeah. They're a, uh, sort of a stalwart members of the church and they're, they're very um, formal and uh, proper sort of people so one day in uh, before the service he saw Craig standing up there and Glenn leaned over to someone and said you think Craig ever pinches Nan's tush <laughs> 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 yeah. and he uh, worked as a usher there you know he would uh, help with hand handing out the collection plate and he would hand it to someone they put something in and they hand it back to him and he'd look to see what they put in and hand it back to them again. Well, since you're mentioning a few things like that, uh, I guess I'll pass on what really got him in deep trouble at his time at the airport. When one evening he was assisting a British lady with something or other. And as she was about to walk away, he says, I guess you think I talk funny, too. Oh. <laughs> uh, that lady felt obligated to write a letter to the director about that. So, uh, she was not appreciate it. <laughs> but he then always said what he thought. I remember when he went to the nudist colony. Oh, 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 o
back picture showing Ross <laughs> Andrews. He'd actually been there. <laughs> he stayed there. He stayed there, yeah. And he took pictures sneakily outside through the curtain. Right, <laughs> right. Somewhere, he was, uh, it was somewhere down south, wasn't it? Where was it, Palm Jeff? Springs. Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, then he went one trip anyway. Oh, he had the. Remember when he was the sponsor of some young man who was a midshipman at the, at the Naval Academy? Where was the young man from? I don't remember. I don't except know. he would come and visit Glenn at the house, mm. and um, on know. one occasion, the, the young man, whoever he was was able to take his sponsor and a guest and we had that was me again and um we had dinner with the midshipmen in bankrupt hall oh, really? 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 oh my goodness yeah. you didn't know that you did really? lock me out with all those yeah. nice things yeah, yeah. uh-huh and, and you know the, so the whole time the young man was at the Na naval academy he had a place to escape and and get away from there uh, Glenn would go get him and, and bring him here where the kid could just relax and take it easy. Mm -hmm. And if I had any idea when that was, I could tell you, but I can't. <laughs> I forgot that, too. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Do you, oh. know, do you remember... <laughs> it's coming back. When we would go up to... Um, Campground. Harmison. Harmison. Yeah, we Harmison. Oh. And the, uh, we would pitch our tents. And I remember Glenn waking us up in the morning mm -hmm. with the, the, bear, the bears, the bears, or the wolves, or oh, something, yeah. you know, with, <laughs> over the loudspeaker. <laughs> what like was at six o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, like six o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. It was over Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Yeah, outside of, yeah, outside of Berkeley Springs. And I remember oh. you're there for a nice relaxing weekend. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't stand to see people sleep in. Yeah, you know, it's the life of the party. Out there. But I remember getting up in the middle of the night. I think you had problems with you, your your uh, air mattress. You kept falling off the air mattress or something. And then you would hear all of a sudden you would hear someone going. Zip, 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 zip. And somebody had to go to the bathroom. And first you know, oh, somebody's up. Zip, zip. <laughs> you know, everybody was up for that because they had company. <laughs> oh my! That's right. After that, we I got should look for my pictures for that. We had some good times, all of us at Harmes. How long is the drive up from here? What, about two hours. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, exactly two hours. hours. Yeah, two hours. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's when we uh, we went to Fort Washington. That's what and the guy was going to show us how he shot the monster. That's right. So we're all standing there, and he goes, I mean, he, he fires, and, and Glenn goes, boom. And the guy was looking at his gun. He thought he was going to shot him. I remember that. Oh, my. It's funny. It's funny back. <laughs> so that's where we were when we went to Fort Washington. No. Yes. Which one, Which one do you want to go? Huh? This way or that way? Come on. Strange people. Come no. on. No room. You can. You can do it. Just a long time, pet. Bye. About twenty years. Wow. Twenty. Is that right? Oh, my goodness. Good. 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 And that was the second one. Oh, is that right? So they moved in here in 65, and I'm guessing 66 or 67. Oh. The E's moved in. 
-hmm. And they had come straight from Korea, didn't speak, I mean, I don't know if they spoke any English at all, mm -hmm. and didn't know anyone, so Anne baked them a, uh, an apple pie and took it over, mm -hmm. and they were friends ever oh. since. Who was it that you said wanted to come, the nurse? What's her name? Pat yeah, Renee. Yeah. And you said that she said that Glenn had helped her so much? Right. Yeah, what was. respect was that? I was trying to tell you. I'm not sure she exactly was. what company she was worked with. One, one of those you were just talking about in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Pat Renee. The steam food, one of the steam Yeah, she food. told me, I saw her, we sat with her at the picnic right. a few weeks back, and she was telling me, somehow she ended up working at Ramsey Scarlett. I forget what she was doing oh. there. But she got there the first day and walked in, and there was Glenn sitting there. <laughs> she didn't know. So he was, uh, she said she was really amazed how much he knew about the business, and he was able to tell her. You know. Took her all over, gave her a tour of the whole building, explained everything to her. And mm. was, she thought quite highly of him. Was so glad that she had the opportunity to sit. And the, the two times that you brought him over to the picnic, uh, back was back-to-back -back weeks. And he had back an back opportunity. Days. That was that weekend. That weekend, back to back, yeah. That's right. And he had a chance to, to sit and talk to people. That was so nice. Because I think he really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah really, uh, these it's last few years, it really frightened him up whenever when we went to the party at Ruth and Jack's house and he saw so many people okay. from church that he recognized. He just, he just lit up. This is when Ann was sick and he, he brought Ann in a wheelchair. Remember, we put, the, yeah. we put some wood up planks up so that uh -huh. you bring her up into the stairs. Yeah. yeah, get her up into the uh -huh. uh, steps. Do you know if he had any contact with Todd's uh, adopted I mean is that birth parents? No, I mean no no the uh, did he ever marry was Todd. he married to that lady from that lady? Did he have any contact with her or her children? She, he said that she called a couple of times and then they just lost contact after, mm -hmm. after a few years. So I think he thought that she would like to see the kids, I think. Did you know Todd, Dale? No. Did, no, I, I, I told Jeff we had never met him. <clears throat> I think Billy was in an adopted mother's group way, way, way back with Ann. And the one they first adopted the kids. But I don't know where we met him. <clears throat> I think we met him once. Um, I don't know whether Glenn was sick or here somewhere. I think we did met him one time. They had drifted apart, but Glenn was very yeah, happy to be he 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 had left, yes. After he left, he came, right. they, they finally got back yeah, together. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what time. Because I knew he was a long haul truck driver. Yeah. Well, I, I know that. Uh, Glenn was called upon <clears throat> to make the final decision on pulling life support. I don't know if they ever told him that. And it was a really hard decision for him to make. Uh, yeah. What we're told. He was only 45. I think I'm not sure. He called Jack and Jack took him where? Dundalk. Dundalk. Drove him over there. Had Pick Todd up. already Pick died? Up the ashes, yeah. <clears throat> He told me a few things about Todd. Um, well, they had a dog when, when Todd was little, and uh, he and Ann both noticed that you had to spank Todd and then also spank the dog. Oh. <laughs> the dog was so protective of Todd. <laughs> was around him, that Todd would run in and jump on the bed, and the dog would run under the bed. <laughs> they had a uh, cat at that time, too. And, he used to walk around the house with a cat <laughs> hanging around his neck. <laughs> head over here and feet over here. Yeah. And they used to play together in here and they had a racetrack. They had a little tunnel and the car would go in and the cat would sit on top and look down at the <laughs> And then Todd would hit the button and it'd come out and get bad at it. They just said they'd do that for hours. So mm -hmm. he, uh, he taught uh, Todd to ride a bike. He took him out to get his first bicycle and stopped at the uh, airport on the way home, taught him how to ride it on the parking lot over there. Oh, no. <laughs> so then when they got here, 
He just he pulled up the car, took the bike out, handed it to Todd, and Todd went up and down the street. <laughs> the E's and everybody around here were amazed, and Todd just picked it right up. <laughs> uh, when he was in high school, they had a, they let him have a party down here in the basement, and everything was going well until Glenn came home and he saw somebody standing at the uh, back side of the house here go around to see what was going on and it was one of the kids who had come along to hand the beer in through the basement window. <laughs> <laughs> so Glenn went marching downstairs to send them all home. <laughs> and the last thing he told me was that um, well, again when, when I was in high school he and a bunch of his friends got together and they pulled their money and managed to buy a hearse. Oh. And they would take turns parking it in front of their house. Oh. Oh. So Anne was uh, here and said, you get that thing out from in front of my house. And so Todd just sat there and laughed and laughed. Fun household to grow up in. Yeah. Where are the neighbors John and Elaine that used to live back That's here? Wallace. Yeah. Yeah, they, Wallace, yeah. right. The Wallaces, yeah. They, uh, when he retired, they moved to Pennsylvania. Because they got a tax break for being a, he was the CIA, I think, or the NSA. Retired NSA. federal, yeah. Mm -hmm. NSA. So they got a tax break for being retired federal employees. So they went up there, and she died uh, a year or two later. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he lost contact with John Aww. after that. He he went up one time to see the house and visit with them when they first moved up there. He was he, fond of the daughter, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, they moved up there, and the new neighbors moved in over here, and uh, we saw them in the backyard, so Glenn and I went over and uh, to shake hands and, and introduce ourselves, and the next week they put up a fence. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming they had the fence planned already. <laughs> going up to the World Trade Center when you worked up there. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, what, 42nd floor? It's way up there, yeah. right on the Inner Harbor. Yeah. He volunteered there for a long time. And he used to get some of the people from church uh, to come up there on the 4th of July. Yeah, probably. With, with, <laughs> he, had, he was able to, as being part of the staff, he was allowed to get up there and you'd be right level with the fireworks mm -hmm. display. Yeah, and I have a three-year-old granddaughter sort of with us, and he was hyper. But he had a great time because he couldn't go anywhere. We just let him go. And about that, it had nothing to do with Glenn, really, because we appreciate that. But uh, when we came down after the fireworks were over, uh, it was a gridlock. None of the cars were moving. But we had gone in on a light rail. But we had to walk back up to Baltimore mm -hmm. to, 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 to Howard to get the light rail, which required about three blocks up there. But we were on one side of the street, and with Scott, who was three, and with Mr. Lehman, mm -hmm. Cindy's dad. Uh, I remember he was 80 years old. That's what I was just mm -hmm. thinking. I just and on the other side of the street, there were several yeah. white boys with backpacks, and a half a dozen black boys harassing them, pushing them in the street, going, and it looked bad, and it looked bad. And I thought, here we are with a three-year-old kid, an 80-year-old man. <laughs> and I think about it. I way over here. Uh, yeah. But uh, I, that frightened me to death. I was never so glad to get on the train in my life. Mm. So nothing's could, changed up there in all these years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nothing's changed. just as bad. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. a little worse. I don't know. We were standing waiting for the light rail one night after fireworks, and somebody threw a firecracker into the crowd of people. Oh. Uh, oh. And the, Instantaneously, people thought it was a shot. Mm -hmm. kind of so it wasn't. Mm -hmm. and Glenn said he liked doing that job because the people who came up there to the observation deck were farmers from Pennsylvania. Kind of mm -hmm. people that he knew growing up who would, you know, all they were used to seeing was fields, you know. <laughs> and they were <laughs> amazed to get up there and see this big city right. thing out in front of them. Didn't he volunteer at the aquarium for a while too? No, they, no. He looked into it, but hippodrome. not. Was that it? He just looked into it? Mm -hmm. Did he do the hippodrome? No. No, he wasn't hippodrome. It hadn't been refurbished. Mm 
Okay. When uh, he was up in the World Trade Center for a while, they had that balloon that would go up and down. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 you know the joke? I know the joke. You want to tell me? Okay. Yeah. There's a, to explain what it is, there's a hot air balloon that would go up and it would be equal to the 42nd floor. So you're pretty much high up in the air there. And he would tell people it only cost one dollar to go up in that balloon, eleven dollars to come back down. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but then there was some place else where he talked about um, bungee jumping. But one one of the bungees was too long, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember whether it was from the World Trade Center that you could go and bungee jump, but you had to be careful so. which one you used. <laughs> But there wasn't one. There wasn't one. Oh, yeah. I remember that when he would tell people about that, you know, the bunch of chords. One of them was too long. You mentioned what? About, this is a total different subject. You mentioned about his birthplace. Uh, I just recently read a couple of novels about the Amish in that area. I, I never knew there was an enclave of Amish over around State College, but uh, there's a yeah, oh, yeah, there's some some series of novels. Yeah, Johnstown, too. Johnstown, yeah. Just a brand new novel. We walked around. I got a lot of pictures mm -hmm. when we went up there. And you see all kinds of buggies up and down the roads mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know they're up there. That's why they're pretty well secluded. You know, the problems that you have with Lancaster. Yeah, we said everybody you knew had names like Winkle Black and uh, Zonheiser and Hug. And <laughs> Stoltz, 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 Stoltz. Stoltz. And he could not understand why our store here is always. Instead of Oli's? Because mm -hmm. oh. they're spelled the same, right? Mm -hmm. Why do we call our store here Oli's? It should be Oli's. Mm -hmm. He was right, right? Oli's? It's spelled the same as... Mm -hmm. I always right? thought the nickname for Oliver was Oli. But then what's O-L-L-I-E? Yeah, Oli. Oli. Tomato and tomato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he find that shirt? I'm just curious. I don't know. You don't know me shirt? Mm -hmm. You don't know. <laughs>
but you know, it, it's really, you know, it's amazing when some people know stuff and other people don't, and then, I mean, like the midshipman that was here, you know, um, mm -hmm. I don't remember his name or where he was from, but I know that Glenn was his sponsor. I mean, that had to be the only way I could get to Bancroft Hall for dinner, right? Well, I think yeah. so. Yeah. The memory that keeps coming back to me was when he was, um, wasn't quite really, really sick yet, but he was, it was after a stroke, I guess, he was using the walker, a rolling walker, and uh, we were coming through the house here, going out to the kitchen, and I looked out in the backyard, and our bird bath had 20 or 30 finches on it, mm -hmm. and they were uh, all around the rim of the bath, and splashing around, and down on the ground, up in the bush, and flying around. And so I said to Glenn, take a look at this, you know, and he was holding on, and he sort of turned around and looked. As soon as he saw those little birds out there, he just exploded in laughter. Like it was the funniest thing he had ever heard. <laughs> Someone told him the funniest joke he'd ever heard. <laughs> he just, well, here his, he is. <laughs> like it's funny too. His face just lit up in joy. She wants to know what birds are. That's, That's right. Birds? Yeah, where are Right. Some places where he stayed, so he wants to go to the spot. Right. It's right over here, right? He said something over here. What? He's saying, get up. Yeah. Not on that chair. Yeah. Oh, I guess if we leave, we leave you in a cool house while we go outside into the heat. Right? Stay as long as you like. Start the car. Still more food out there? We can get in lunch. We got the this folds out if you need a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go to Annapolis. Who's going to the airport? See what we can tell them what we can get into. After. We're stopping by Lloyd Hamill's. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, their son, Robert, he called the other day. Jack talked to him. He's cancer free. Oh, as yeah. serious oh, as that was in the beginning, cancer free right now. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in three months, he go back to town. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. He looks so bad. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be coming back to church? Well, I don't know. He he likes that church of the brethren there in Linthicum. Mm -hmm. oh. North Linthicum. Oh, okay. Yeah. He really enjoys yeah. that church. So. I'm that's not sure. That that's will. our home church, actually. Church of the brethren. That's where Mary and Lloyd uh, went to the church of the brethren oh. before they ever joined the Methodist church. Because mm -hmm. Mary and I, well, I grew up church of the brethren, and we used to talk about our and likenesses as far as our worship services and little prayer caps that we all wore. Mm. Um, and so I knew they were Church of the Brethren. Yeah. Feet washing at communion. Well, what was Glenn's that? church background? Do you know, Ann? Do you know what the what denomination they were back home? No, I, um, I saw his, his baptism certificates around here, but I didn't bother to see what denomination it said. Mm. I don't know. And he, he went, did he graduate from Tulane? Yeah, he did. Wow. Probably one on the GI Bill, maybe. Oh, yeah. Well, why did he go find me? Well, it's a big school there in the He was already yeah, living he there, was, right? I mean, you think when he came out of the service, he would have oh. Maryland or where he was someplace at home, college. Well, but they were living funny. there then, right? They were living they in married. New Orleans. Yeah, but they weren't. Well, I mean, he got a job down there, and that's why he went to school there. Yeah. It may have been, uh, he wanted to get into shipping, and that was the yeah. place to go. Yeah. Where there was yeah. a port. Right. Help me, she said. When we all stand up, we'll have to see where he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's still right there. He's still right there. I talked to uh, Glenn's brother-in-law recently, and I had forgotten that he said that he had come and visited Anne and Glenn when they lived in D.C. Mm. And he was from, <coughs> he's really from the sticks. 
Bill, Bill Fisher, who's out in the, way out in the country. And so he, he didn't know what to do. And, and uh, so Glenn, but Glenn was working, but he gave him, told him how to work the subway and how to get around and yeah. do things. And, Told him where he could go and stand if he wanted to see the president. The president would come by. <laughs> and sure enough, he stood there, and that's where the motorcade came out. <laughs> Was there some president. family in Severna Park, some relative? His brother Jim lived down Severna Park. Is he going? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This um, picture of Glenn piloting the boat over there, he's sitting on Jim's boat okay. down in Severna Park. Directory out and see if that. Yeah, I know. It's funny. I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember. I was there when he came into the church. I said, "Oh my God." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to get his picture taken? That he says, "Yep." <laughs> Maybe someone accidentally left it out. Yeah, I don't. I <laughs> think <laughs> pictures from here. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 oh, right. So they might have cut it off. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't uh, I, I, I know it isn't. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. It's a good I can run out. Yeah. No, we don't have any earbuds here. Directly. I wonder if you ever noticed that it didn't show up. Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That was the last one. That was the one. I, I, I can't see. I can't see you, but I got through something. Well, folks, I know you have to go to the yeah, airport and uh, get yeah, Connie home. Yeah, we got to send her too shortly. We are uh, supposed to meet some people this afternoon. So. Thank you all again. Uh, okay. This was Thank very well. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. nice. Very 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 nice.